Good morning boys and girls, I hope you're all well, hope you've had a lovely weekend and you are all staying safe. This week on Guided Reading we are going to be looking at a new book, but first let's remind ourselves of our reading strategies. You can use any of these to help with your reading, but the ones I want you to focus on are your eagle eye, which is when you look at pictures in the book to help you with the words, and your stretchy snake, which is when you look at the letters and you stretch out the sounds and say it all together slowly. Let's try a stretchy snake of our own. Seasons. Seasons. You have a go for me? Fantastic. Well done. Let's try it all together one more time. Seasons. E -uns. Good job, well done. The book that we are going to be looking at this week is called Season Swap. So boys and girls, here is what our book looks like on Oxford Owl. Let's have a read. Season Swap. Opposite sides of the world. I'm Jack and I live in Manchester in the United Kingdom. I'm going to tell you all about the seasons in my part of the world, the Northern Hemisphere. I'm Annabelle and I live in Melbourne in Australia, which is in the Southern Hemisphere. Did you know that while it's summer in the UK, it's winter in Australia? That's because the UK and Australia are on opposite sides of the world. Seasons and the Sun Earth moves around the sun. It takes one year for it to go all the way round. This picture shows lots of sunlight shining on the northern hemisphere. This means it is summer. Less sunlight is shining on the southern hemisphere. This means it is winter. When Earth moves around to the other side of the sun, the seasons change. It is winter in the northern hemisphere and summer in the southern hemisphere. Summer. Summer means swimming, bike rides and cricket. Summer days can be warm and they are also long. The sun is still up when I go to bed. On the longest day of summer in Manchester, the daylight lasts for 17 hours. Winter. On winter weekends I play football and I play netball and watch football. It doesn't snow in Melbourne, but we can drive to the mountains to ski. On the longest night of winter in Melbourne, there are 14 hours of darkness. It's summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Polar bears live in the Arctic. They can live without food in the summer. Manchester, UK. Jack lives here. Heavy rain falls in the East Asia in summer. It's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Emperor penguins are the only animals in Antarctica that have their babies during winter. Melbourne, Australia. Annabelle lives here. Autumn. In autumn it gets dark in the early evening. There is morning fog and lots of rain and there are crunchy autumn leaves everywhere. In September, the daytime temperature in Manchester and the nighttime temperature in Melbourne are almost the same. Spring. In spring, flowers are blooming. The days start to get longer and warmer. I'd better not forget my sun hat for school. It's autumn in the Northern Hemisphere. Tetron Thu in Vietnam. It is a huge festival held in the middle of autumn. It's spring in the southern hemisphere. When spring arrives in South Africa, wildflowers burst into bloom. In New Zealand, little penguins lay their eggs in spring. Winter. When it snows, I love sledging, having snowball fights and building snowmen. I warm up again by helping my mum make food for our Christmas party. The days get shorter during winter in Manchester. People go home from work and school in the dark. 
summer hooray for summer holidays on new year's eve there's a huge party in the city with fireworks and music tomorrow we're going to the beach for some fun in the sun the days are long in melbourne during summer sometimes it doesn't get dark until nine o'clock it's winter in the northern hemisphere the north american snowshoe hair is usually brown but it turns white in the winter. Sadi is a festival of fire held in the Middle East in winter. It's summer in the Southern Hemisphere. In Oudnadatta, South Australia, on 2nd of January 1960, it was 50.7 degrees Celsius. Spring. Some days in spring are warm and sunny, and others are cold and rainy. I like the rain. We see lots of baby animals at the city farm near our house. There are baby sheep and horses. Around 22nd of March in Manchester and Melbourne, daytime and nighttime are both around 12 hours long. Autumn. Back to school and it's still hot. Last weekend we went for a walk in the cool dark forest just outside the city. It's spring in the northern hemisphere. Tornado Alley is part of the United States of America where there are lots of tornadoes in spring. Cherry blossoms are the first sign of spring in Japan. It's autumn in the southern hemisphere. On Easter Island, the wettest time of year is late autumn. Season swap. Our families are going to swap houses next year. I can't wait to find out what the weather is like on the other side of the world. Will it really be hot in December? I'm going to spend a whole year in Manchester. Jack said he's li he'd leave me his sledge in case it snows. I'm going to leave my bodyboard so Jack can ride the waves at the beach. The distance between Manchester and Melbourne is almost 17,000 kilometres. The trip takes about 24 hours on an aeroplane. Now that I've finished reading, go all the way back to the beginning for me and have a go at reading it yourself. If you are struggling, you can listen to me read it one more time or down here on Oxford Owl, you have the play button where they will read it to you. This week on Guided Reading Week, we'll be going to do another word search and all you need to do is click on the link that I send in your class portfolio and it will bring up this page. To enter the word search, just enter your name and press start. And then once it has loaded, all you need to do is press start. You need to find all of these words on this side in your word search. Don't forget to send me a picture of your lovely work. I look forward to seeing it. Enjoy and have fun.